Welcome to Greenshine Farmer's video blog about a family starting a farm and going back to the homestead lifestyle. Hey guys, welcome to Greenshine Farmers. Today we're going to talk about the biggest nuisance on our farm, which is hands down this curly dockweed behind me. Um, this stuff is a rhizomus plant, which means that it'll spread, it'll propagate through its, through its roots, so it has a thick tap root, and once that gets broken off, it'll split and just kind of multiply. So this thing is not, you know, we can't stir a poet out, we can't flame it out. Since it's a rainy day, we're just going to try to do our best to actually dig down and kind of tease out that tap root, and we'll just feed it to our chickens and just get it out of our garden. But um, if you see here, this is kind of like what it looks like um, when it's a little bit smaller. And then if you let it go, you kind of end up with something like this. And this is about to set seed, so we really need to get this stuff out uh, before we have even more of it. Alright, yeah, so sometimes you kind of just have to dig around it. But I mean, that's all taproot. So, yeah, we just want to get this out of here. And then, yeah, we're going to have a huge gap. So for these bigger ones, we're just going to have to take a shovel and we're just going to try to dig around the taproot and then we'll sort of pull it out. So, I mean, I just kind of want to get it started. These things grow incredibly fast and they tend to just take over. So I kind of just like to try to dig a circle, since this is just kind of a cluster, that's sort of hard to do, but... Kind of loosen it up a little bit, and then just get down as low as you can. Okay. Man, these things are so yeah, you might have to dig a little deeper than that. Just dig a little deeper. It's coming. Oh. Dang. Oh, yeah, I mean, just took out that tap group. It goes super yeah. deep. And, mm. I mean, a little bit might have even broken off. So you can kind of see down here even. Actually, we got most of it. Yeah, I think we got it all. That's pretty good. Luckily, it's really wet. It comes out a lot easier when it's wet like this, but yeah, I mean, even like a little piece like that, you know, that will actually reproduce another one of these plants if you let it, so. A lot of people are going to say, you know, you guys are just tearing this up. Why don't you use it? Why don't you try to sell it? It has medicinal uses. It does. Curly dock actually does have medicinal uses. Uh, the Native Americans used it as a general tonic to detoxify the liver and the gallbladder. It's also used as a, uh, a gentle laxative. We don't really have use for that here, um, and we actually still have a ton of it growing around the perimeter. So we really just need to get it out of our production fields. And you know, when it's across the culvert or whatever, I mean, we can just leave it. I'm, I'm fine with that. One thing about the springtime here, starts getting these longer days, we get all this rain, everything grows fast. Our crops grow fast and the weeds grow fast. Now here, you can see our pathways are just totally overgrown. Some of that is due to the ryegrass that we use as a cover crop. You know, this is all ryegrass and I just kind of scattered it. So some of it got into the pathways. Um, the rest is just kind of just, weeds. I mean, we uh, haven't really worked these pathways since, I don't know, probably September or October. So, you know, things can just really get out of hand. Um, we are making some headway, but it's just so much to do. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, in this wet weather, you really can't do much except uprooting things and you kind of have to wait for it to dry out before you can get in there with uh, 
any kind of cultivation tools. So our solution for this, we're super pressed for time right now. And so we're just gonna bring on some extra help at, at least for a couple days a week. And it's just gonna be just grunt work basically. Uh, just getting out here with a stirrup hoe and a flame weeder and really getting this all dialed in. I think after this week, if we get some dry weather, we can actually get this plot uh, looking real nice. All right, so here we are in front of this little mini jungle. And uh, today, Landlord Ralph is gonna come out and help me uh, brush all this, uh, get all this cleared. Uh, the reason being is they've got power lines here and if we don't clear it 20 feet on either side, um, the city's gonna come through and spray it and that will make it so we can't get our organic certification. So we have to clear this and then there's another little patch on the other side of the culvert that is a little bit smaller than this uh, that we have to clear as well. So uh, we've got our work cut out for us, but uh, you know we'll see how it goes. Alright, so here's our brush pile uh, from the other day. We need to let this sit for a couple of weeks. We need these leaves to fall off and kind of turn brown and dry out just a little bit. And then we're actually going to burn this whole thing. It's going to be a controlled burn. We're going to have water ready in case it kind of gets out of hand. But um, that's just really the only way to get rid of this. It'd be really expensive and time consuming to haul it off site. And I actually want to kind of burn all of this down here too, uh, just so that we can kind of manage the growth in the future. And again, I really didn't want to do this. I mean, this was actually kind of nice having this kind of separation from the road, but you know, they're going to spray some super toxic stuff on it if we didn't cut it down. So we were kind of forced into it. So this is one of the big projects we worked on this week. Um, I brought this electrician who actually hooked up our walk-in cooler. I brought him back out and we put this in. It's a 200 amp breaker. Um, so it's going to give us 200 amps of power. Right now, the other one on the other side is probably around 100. And we're just tripping breakers left and right. Um, you know, we're running three ACs on our harvest and, and packing days. Uh, and so this will actually give us the power to do that without tripping breakers. Okay, so like we've said, things are always breaking on the farm. And this week, we get to fix the shower. Now, uh, this was the cheapest shower at the time. It comes in a little kit. It's all plastic. And uh, our woofer Janice was taking a shower a couple nights ago and it started spraying out water. And what happened really is there's a little plastic valve here and it just cracked pretty much well around. I tried to just kind of fix it with some of this JB Weld knockoff stuff, but it doesn't work. This stuff's terrible. Um, so really what I have to do is just replace the valves. And since they don't sell a replacement for this exact shower, uh, I just had to actually upgrade and get like these brass valves. And so they're a little bit wider. We're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to drill two new holes and then kind of plug up the existing holes. But uh, you know, this thing, this is gonna last us. So yeah, maybe we should have just spent a little bit more to get a better shower in the first place. But I think once we put this in, it should be solid. Round and round, round and round. Round and round. Oh, he's dizzy. Oh, boom. Dizzy. Did you land on the shoes? <laughs> Are you fixing the shower, Odin? Are you fixing the shower for Daddy? Yeah, get that piece nice and tight. But So, turn it on, it works, no leaks, all good. You can see, I still need to patch this back here. We're gonna just get maybe uh, some kind of piece of uh, like aquaponics plastic that we have, this uh, extra scrap, and just kind of probably just glue a square on there. It's the easiest thing to kind of cover that up just so we don't get any water leaking out the backside. You know this by now, Rio. You know. It wasn't a vegetable yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Ribbit, ribbit. Toad said croak and winked an eye. The little blue truck went rolling by. Remember the little blue truck? Do we put them over in the grass? Okay. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, you know, right now it's like things are crazy on the farm. We've got a baby coming in around a month and a half. We just hired our first employee and we have an awesome woofer here helping us out. So we've got a lot of people putting their energy into this farm and, uh, and, and our crops are really taking off. You know, you can see here it's just such a difference from last year noticing um, just how healthier the soil is and how much better the crops are looking. So we're going to keep plugging away and uh, see y'all next week. If you guys like this video and you'd like to see more like it, leave us a comment down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, visit us at greenshinefarms.com and follow us on Instagram at greenshinefarms. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.